morning friends so today will be talking of uh, sources of drugs where do we get drugs from in other words uh, we get drugs from all possible sources the first most abundant source available is the mother nature the nature itself so we have plants in the nature abundance of that on this uh, little blue planet so plants act as sources of we have used almost all parts of the plants let it be a stem leaves roots whatever it might be fruits all these things uh, do help to synthesize drugs and we have a list of drugs under this category the most commonest would be drugs like atropine ephedrine the most commonest would be drugs like quinine which are still being used for treatment of certain kinds of malaria and sores and so on Uh, available form of bark of a certain tree so that's about plant source uh, the next thing where we get drugs from is the animal source though at present we have so many restrictions on sacrifice of animals but drugs were synthesized from parts of animals uh, uh, long ago uh, and the most common example would be use of pancreas of certain animals for synthesis of insulin that's given for uh, diseases like diabetes mellitus and so on so uh, we have a rich source which comes even from the animal parts the third would be the humans itself now we cannot take a part of human being and can generate drugs what we do the most common example would be use of uh, blood products uh, let it be the whole blood or let it be components of the blood they have been used for so many uh, diseases treatment of so many diseases in via um, transfusion and so on uh and the last thing this was we talk of plants you talk of animals you talk of human beings that all macroscopic level picture but then we have the unseen world that is much bigger uh than the visible world and that's made by the microbes and microbes do have a role to play as far as synthesis of drugs is concerned in fact the birth of antibiotics like penicillin comes from um, uh, the microbes so we have a class of antibiotics a groups of antibiotics which do come from the microbes so they act as uh, something to uh, to generate drugs or to synthesize drugs in one way or the other now that was about living things whether it is macroscopic or microscopic now let's go on to the mother nature uh, with non living elements the non living elements elements in the form of iron sulfur iodine zinc and so on all these uh, products uh, help in curing one or the other disease so you talk of iron it's helpful in treatment of anemia uh, you talk of iodine it's helpful in treatment of hypothyroidism or prevents hypothyroidism i would say so these micronutrients are helpful in uh, maintaining of the health and disturbance of that to cause diseases and the best treatment is to supplement it with this micronutrients so micronutrients or elements of the earth non living objects to help in synthesis of the drugs the last thing on the list is something which is synthetic uh, we have big bulk of drug molecules that are synthesized tailor made drugs in 21st century for treatment for specific individuals specific disease and so on so a lot of drugs under this category uh, high specific drugs like cardiovascular drugs uh, drugs uh, which act on the central nervous system uh, we have newer modern antibiotics which come under this group which are synthesized specifically for treatment of specific infections and so on um anti cancer drugs certain chemotherapeutic agents so all this come up as something which are synthetic in nature so to brief it up i should say we have the natural source a synthetic source and not natural we have something which is uh, like plants animals human beings as well as we have microbes on the microscopic level and uh, then you have the micronutrients that is a non living substance but still uh we class it as uh, something which is of natural origin and then you have a bulk molecules like synthetic ones i hope you got what i need to say today uh keep watching my video and do subscribe 
to put your comments under the comments column. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.